presidents, if they're not setting the agenda, they're at least actively responding to the agenda that's been set. Sure. They're active players in the policy process. Yes. What do you attribute the Trump administration's lack of attention to the policy process, or as you just put it, following whatever's on the table? Yeah. Well, I think I think there's a couple things here. One, I think there's kind of a general disinterest of the president in policy details. Mm -hmm. Uh, he seems to be the type of president, we've had presidents like this before, who's more interested in outsourcing policy development uh, either to others in the executive branch or to Congress. Uh, second, I think you've got a lot of incompetence right now in the Trump administration. Some of this is due to being a first-year president. Mm -hmm. First-year presidents tend to be weaker uh, on, on these sorts of things. The Clinton administration was a disaster in 1993. On the other hand, the Trump administration also is uh, radically inexperienced. Okay? The president himself has no government experience. He surrounded his original White House uh, with relatively inexperienced advisors. And, um, you know, there's a sense that they just haven't got their act together yet. On top of all this, uh, I think this is a generally weak president in a weak position. Mm -hmm. uh, anytime you win a minority election uh, that divided your party uh, pretty strongly in the primaries and your public approval is low, you're going to have a hard time uh, cajoling members of Congress or others to do what you want. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we're talking about here with presidential power. Everyone agrees the presidency is strong. This is the person who has their finger on the nuclear trigger, probably the most powerful individual in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, but compared to other presidents, uh, President Trump is not in a good position to exert the sort of influence that will get others to go along with him. He doesn't have the public standing to kind of browbeat people by going public. And his professional reputation in Washington, the idea that uh, members of Congress are going to go along with him because they're afraid he's going to outmaneuver them and beat them so they don't want to stick their neck out, that's kind of a, a fantasy right now of, of, of liberals who are kind of paranoid.